Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Configuring SAP Document Management. Every company deals with documents, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Did you know SAP has a built-in document management system called DMS? They can handle all of your document management needs. From Excel spreadsheets to complex CAD models, SAP DMS can store, manage, and distribute your valuable documents in this webinar. We will review the, basis, the basics of configuring your SAP DMS system in the IMG implementation guide. We will also review creating document types, document statuses, workflow, and more. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Once again, my name is Dave Cramp, Senior Solution Consultant for uh, LeverX. And today we're going to discuss uh, a follow-on step. Our last webinar, we talked about using uh, the SAP Document Management System to uh, manage your documents in your enterprise. Today, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few steps to get you on the road to configuring SAP Document Management so you can get to the point of using it. While this will you know, it's not meant to be an end-all, be-all of document management. This will be, you know, definitely, you know, the, those first crawling steps to help you get into the uh, implementation guide and help you work with configuring documents in the SAP's uh, implementation guide. So, as uh, Alan said, we're going to have a quick intro to SAP DMS kind of talk about what it means and how it works uh, in your enterprise. And then we're going to go and discuss some configuration uh, in, in SAP's IMG, uh, how to create document types, how to work with document statuses, how to set up revision control, uh, do a little bit of discussion on workstation application. In other words, tying your actual authoring tools into the document management system, and then how to uh, work with workflow in a DMS. Why do customers need DMS? Across the entire enterprise, you, you create and, and, and generate documents using a number of different authoring tools, whether it's office-based tools, whether it's CAD-based tools, or, or Adobe Forms. You, you, you are creating information and gathering that and using it. One of the greatest ones that's out there, most companies that we, that we talk to run their place on Excel. And all these Excel spreadsheets are sitting on hard drives somewhere, not in a vault very, very huge security hole that m most corporations uh, turn a blind eye to, frankly. And then there's, you know, SAP business documents. So these are, this is information that's generated in SAP that SAP calls a business document and it creates and stores and manages for you. And this works along your products, your product life cycle from an ad, you know, from as, and from an idea to as sold, to as built, to as maintained. You have a need somehow to track and manage all this information. The SAP business documents are managed for you, but these office documents, whether it's a, an office tool or a CAD tool, are sitting out typically on shared drives or hard drives and are, are not vaulted and not controlled in a central enterprise instance. And once again, you know, this can be information coming from mail, from fax machines, from the web. Information proliferates, and uh, you're collaborating everywhere and bringing this information in. Once again, driving the need to capture and manage it. So that said, once again, SAP offers a very comprehensive document management solution. If you own the SAP ECC Enterprise Core Component, you have bought and have the ability to turn on and use the SAP P, uh, document management system. I have the term PLM up here, but it doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be an engineering-centric system, though that's what the system tends to be used for. Why is that? Yeah, it is a comprehensive solution where you can manage versions and structures, so structures being complex CAD systems and versions of those models. But it can also manage versions of Microsoft Word documents, PowerPoints, Excels, etc. Um, because these are typically very uh, uh, engineering centric or uh, R&D centric, they are typically gone, gone, gone through an approval uh, and change management process 
to review and approve these and then vault them. And then you also have the ability within the document management system to perform distribution. So upon release, let's say, of a specification, the system can automatically take that document and go and look up a distribution list that you have set up and distribute, distribute that information automatically, both internally to an SAP GUI type uh, structure or via, via web access. Um, very open tool, uh, CAD systems, uh, office applications, as we talked about. The ability to tie to other tools. So we have output device and input device uh, partners that SAP works with as well. You know, uh, typically, you know, a SEAL systems or a city on provide output management that can provide, you know, different aspects of creating output to like Zebra printers, etc. So let's talk about some of the base structures. The doc document info record is what SAP calls a, um, a, a individual file or an individual uh, drawing number that you are going to work with. And this document info record, and I might call it a DIR, uh, is typically can be used with a document type. So you can see down in the central uh, screen below, you can see a document type DRW for engineering design drawing. So that's, that is typically how you will define a, um, a, a style of document is via the document type. And that document type will also have a document numbering system. And then you have the ability to have a, a, a versioning and a, a document part associated with it. The key thing here being is the document type. This will manage whether it's a CAD model, a Microsoft Word document, is this a recipe and development document, is a quality document, etc. You can use this document type to control the end use of said document and then point it to an appropriate authoring tool for the generation of, uh, of its uh, information. 